Good morning everyone, welcome to Bainscleur. So today we are looking at this really, really amazing sundew, the Drosso regia. It's growing here in the grass. It's currently emerging from winter dormancy. So this is the oldest and possibly one of the rarest sundew species in the world. It's most closely related to the Venus flytrap. And while they're still small now, they'll get about yay big by come summertime. And we're currently at about 800 meters above sea level somewhere along the Bain's Clough Pass. It's a fairly well protected little gem. The soil is relatively dry at the moment, but it gets a lot of runoff from the hills above it. It's growing on gentle slope, and despite how superficially dry it is, they're incredibly dewy. It feels insanely slimy. So this one is thankfully in cultivation already, and quite fairly difficult to grow, so maybe don't grow it as wet as everything else, but let's see if we can find some more. So here we have another gem of the Feinbos, Drosera admirabilis, also initially known as species floating, with tendency to sit in these small little pools of water, almost having the appearance as if it were floating. So it's a small, cute little species, only grows two to three centimeters across, very easy to grow, you just grow it super wet, and it will always be happy, and it's very plentiful here near the Regia. And then just to give you a better idea, the habitat looks like this incredibly reedy area here in the mountain. The gentle slope, you take a few steps over, you have this amazing, amazing regio population. Just look at them all glistening in the sun. We found several hundred of them here. There's good news, thankfully, they haven't been poached out. Here are some that are a bit more open. You can see at the bottom messes of old, dead, dry leaves out from it. Emerges this beautiful new plant. So soon, be about this big. And they flower in summer, it's currently freshly into springtime here. Found a few dead inflorescences from last year. They make very large, tall flowers compared to many other sundews. Here are a few more Admirabilis growing on a path. They're absolutely amazingly red. And they inhabit this little seepage where water is running off from the hill and collecting here. Makes very, very happy conditions for the little red beauties. So, I've found fairly high up on Bain's Cliff this wonderful, wonderful seepage. We have lots and lots of little utricularia of this quamata. So, Drosera trinovia, unfortunately, a little bit overexposed. But the real fascinating thing is not those, it's this beautiful, beautiful little sister flora type plant somewhat resembles my new species, currently denoted as SPHB after my initials, but hopefully to be described soon. So it's a beautiful little flower and very few stem leaves, it's not very tall. If we move across here, there are a whole lot of them. Follow me over here. There's a whole seepage. Full Beautiful little sundews. It's everywhere. All over this massive dry seepage. It's really interesting. So it just follows this bank. We've got restios and all stuff. And then some a little bit of wetness full of sundews. So yeah, here yeah, we have some science in action. Six. Our brother and one of my friend's classmates are helping me measure these like little creatures. The more measurements we have, the better description we can do. There's quite a few flowering over here. So here, further on the main spur pass, we have some amazing, amazing waterfalls. But what's even cooler, is these little Drosera capensis hiding here. I think they're re-emerging from dormancy, judging by the small size. They're just here by this famous stream, having a nice time sitting in here. It's an amazing valley. So this water is extremely cold, it's probably about 16 degrees and only 9 parts per million. So it's perfect for these capensis chilling here on this little bank. So pretty cool this one actually, you can see it's got a skirt of old growth that's probably from last year before it went dormant for winter. We have some better views along the path. Well, this isn't long, the path quite far up. There's a very large 
pine plantation up there, followed by this beautiful stream, some sort of random or a rock wall formation, followed by this beautiful stream. Lovely tannic water from the train boards, possibly some aluminium. And off into beautiful, beautiful distances. So, ladies and gentlemen, we found something extraordinary. Quite a way further from the original and main known spot, we found this wonderful population of waterfall Regia. This isn't the one that is known as Upper Waterfall. This is above that waterfall. We're at an altitude of about 1,300 meters. It's quite a big, would you mind giving us a pan of the valley? It is really, really incredible. Very tough to find, but it's absolutely amazing what we found up here. This population is probably at least 100 or 200 individuals, so we can see they're growing here, they're growing at our wonderful cameraman's feet, they're up here in the rocks, up on the edges, up on the other side. They're very well, maybe more above, but I think that is all the adventuring for today. I'm just going to marvel at these wonderful little red regia. It's much redder than I've seen any in cultivation, so it's really, really interesting, potentially due to the high altitude. Cool.